Hello everyone, Shroomraver here, and today I have for you my second game from the N Pokemon Championship, that sort of NU League that we've got going on. Uh, last week we did unfortunately take uh, a loss, which is, you know, it's unfortunate, but we're hoping to bounce back here with our second game of the season. This one was up against my boy Hera, Heracross Knight, and SL Banefica, or Banefica, Benfica but Bayonet. So yeah, up against him, I've known of him for quite a long time, um, and his team is pretty spook. Uh, he's got Venomoth, Sarina, Jellicent, Gallade, Sharpedo, Togetic, Drampa, Matang, Marowak, Manectric, and Ninetales. So um, it's a fairly spooky team, <clears throat> but the things I decided to bring, um, you'll see I've got uh, sort of your common or garden Zangoose. Zangoose only was outsped by like four things on his team, so I was like, this is great. Um, then I've got a uh, Fizz Def, I believe, Torkoal on there. We've got an Assault Vest, a Rat Quinid. I've got a uh, Poisonium Z uh, Lipard, which is mixed. I've got Scarfed, Tailwind, Archaeops, and I've got especially Defensive Clefairy. Now, Hera decided to bring Drampa, um, Venomoth, Sarina, Sharpedo, Jellison, and Matang. Uh, so, with that in mind, I'm just going to lead it off with my Lipard. It seems to have a pretty good matchup and should outspeed pretty much everything. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get right into the battle, see exactly how things played out. So, I'm going to lead with uh, Lipard, as Hera is going to lead with Jellison. Now, he doesn't want to take a stab move. He's going to get out there going to Sarina, as I just go for a Dark Pulse, fire that off and do a solid amount, as he's going to get leftovers back. Now, here, I'm just going to go straight for my Z-Gunk shot, going to smash him with an Acid Downpour and not kill. He's then going to go for the U-Turn and not kill us either. So, it's all going on right about now, and in comes Matang. Now, I can save Lipard for later. Um, I'm going to go into Torkoal. Uh, he is going to see that coming and just go for a Toxic, which is a very nice play on his part. But um, he's not going to want to stay in here. He's actually going to go into his Jellicent, as I'm going to get my Rocks up. And here I'm going to make the Manly play, predicting him to predict me to go into Araquanid and Toxic, which is exactly what he does. I'm going to stay in and go for a Toxic of my own. And now we've got a Toxic on Jellicent. You always want to see that on your opposing Jellicents. But Torkoal doesn't want to stay in, so I'm going to go on and get out of there and go into my Clefairy. Uh, as he goes for a school, this was a nice middle ground just in case he wanted a double toxic. But I tank the uh, the school as you'd expect. He's going to switch on out of there, go into his Matang. I'm going to see it coming though and go for Fire Blast and do not much damage at all. But it's still damage. He's going to get up his rocks here, uh, which is fine. I'm just going to go for a wish. And you know, Torkoal's Fizz Death, it can take any hit even if he predicts this switch. Uh, which to Hera's credit he does. He's going to go for the rock slide. It's going to do absolutely nothing. And with the Wish and Leftovers, Toxic takes us down to just above what we were when we came in. So out he goes into his Drampa, and I could have gone for the Rapid Spin, but I just go for the Lava Plume. We don't get a burn on the Drampa, which is unfortunate, but, you know, whatever. So here I'm like, okay, I can just go into my Specially Defensive Clefairy and see where we go from there. He's going to go for Hyper Voice, and he is so very specs it's not even funny. I don't know how to switch into this, he's going to take out Clefairy with another Hyper Voice, but this does provide a very nice window of opportunity for Araquanids. Now, he can't do too much to me at this point, uh, even with the specs. So he's going to go into Jellicent, um, I'm just going to go for the Leech Life just to try and get some more health back. And here, um, I'm going to go for the Crunch, I do pack it for this Jellicent, he's actually going to go for the Recover to Scout, but that's quite nice for me because as you'll see, I am going to break the Cold Berry, uh, which is useful for sort of potential knockoff shenanigans later on. But now I'm going to go into Zangoose because I know the Toxic's coming. I have a Toxic Orb. I basically just do this because I can. It's a free switch into Zangoose which you don't get very often. He's going to Toxic me and I will be able to go for knockoff because he doesn't have a switch in. So Zangoose picks up his first kill of the game. Down goes Jellicent. Now, in comes Sharpedo. Now I'm thinking, okay, I've got to be smart here. So I'm going to pull an instant switch into Lipard to sack it off as he just goes for the Protect, making his very safe play. Uh, but now... He's got a speed boost. I am a bit worried, but I go into Archeops who's Scarf, but I know that he's just going to protect here in case of that, so what I'm going to do is bluff that I'm not Scarfed and go for Tailwind. And now I realise that if I was not Scarfed, I'd outspeed him, he's going to switch out into Sarina to sack it. So I go into Torkoal, predicting him to do that, and that is exactly what he does. He's going to go into Sarina to sack it off to the rocks, and I was like, Haha, I'm a lord, I'm actually making good plays for once in my life. But now in comes Drampa, I don't have a switch, and what I opt to do here is go for the Toxic. I probably should have spun, I actually didn't think I'd outspeed. 
but I do and he's going to take us out with the Dragon Pulse so unfortunately rocks are there to stay which is going to hinder the rest of my team including this Zangus who doesn't want to take the residual but once again he doesn't have a switch in, <clears throat> knockoff's going to come in and take out the specs and down goes Trampa. so it's three on three but now you know what's going to happen, it's going to be the Sharpedo. Now I do have a way of taking him out but I need more damage so what I'm going to do is go into my Araquanids and I know he's going to protect, I'm just kind of hoping here that he doesn't have the crunch and Maybe, maybe Araquanid can take a hit with good natural bulk. It can't because he is life orb. And down goes Araquanid. Now here, I'm still worried that he's not quite as in range as I'd like. So I go into my Archeops, uh, basically sacking it off here. Um, because I want more recoil damage on him. So he's at 56%. What I can now do is go into Zangoose. And the range he's at, Quick Attack is now a guaranteed kill. So that's what I was waiting for. I go for it. Down goes Sharpedo. And now, next one in is going to be the Venomoth. Now, this is a speed tie. We're both max speed, positive nature. I do win the speed tie. Gonna go for Facade and take out the Venomoth. It is 1v1. It's so close. I have a fair amount of HP investment. In comes the Matang. He's gonna go for Bullet Punch. We are gonna live. We're gonna go for the knockoff. And we come so, so close. Toxic takes us out. And that, ladies and gents, is gonna be the game. Whew. What an absolutely great battle that was. Um, I'm not even mad about the result. Um, there were some interesting builds on both sides. I think I was... I, I don't quite know how I was making the plays I was. I was just sort of on autopilot thinking too many steps ahead and it was working out. I mean, I was... Some blow my own trump here. I was making Lord plays. Lord plays, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, not quite enough to see us through just by that 9% on the Matang. Well saved in the end by Hera. So, uh, yeah, we do unfortunately take a second 2-0 loss in a row. So we're 0-2, but we're at, you know, only minus 2 differential. We've got a lot of games uh, to go. And Zangoose is already coming through. Four kills in that game for Zangoose. I was so happy. Uh, now, next up, our next game. Ooh, well, our next game is going to be against... I'm just sort of looking on my screen to make sure I get everything right. It is going to be against FC Poplio. Uh, coached by Magic, aka David. Uh, it's going to be a battle of the Daves here. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Look out for that hopefully sometime next week. But uh, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. Links down there to Hera if I can find them. I'm sure there are links to his uh, social media channels. So I will post them down there. Make sure you go and check him out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're looking forward to the next one of these. So uh, as I say, I'm going to get out of here. My final thank you to you all for watching. And I guess with that, I'll see you next time. Laters.